because it seems like on the question of Ukraine, you've been one of the only candidates willing to put forward an actual solid plan. And obviously, it's, it's a negotiating process. So, you know, that's a good opening bid. Uh, do you think that's the reason that some of these other candidates have been so vague about their responses to the Ukraine crisis? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I have I can personally tell you from experience, there are large donors who have said they cannot support me given my position on Ukraine, which is a bit of a mystery, Jack, because <clears throat> I don't think these are people who have large holdings in Raytheon or Lockheed or something and it's their financial interest. It's something else going on. And when we have more time, we should probably dive into the psychology of it. But the fact is the donor class does not permit you to take the position on Ukraine that I've taken on. I think the only people who can take it on are people who have independent money, like Trump and myself, and we're the only two who have. Uh, you know, there are other candidates who told Tucker one thing and then immediately switch after their donors tell them to change their mind. But my view is we got to advance American interests. Here's the deal I would do. Fact is, in a good deal, everybody has to get something out of the deal. Here's what Putin gets. A hard commitment that NATO will not admit Ukraine and freezing the current lines of control in a Korean War style armistice agreement. But here's what we get in return. Putin has to exit his military alliance with China. Right now, we're pushing Russia closer into China's arms. I say do it the other way. Restore normal economic relations with Russia. Actually, make a hard commitment that NATO won't admit Ukraine. And then I would, you know, some details. Move the nukes out of Kaliningrad, which borders Poland. Get the Russian military out of the Western Hemisphere, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua. But yes, this is the starting point for the contours of a deal that I think will advance American interests, will end the Ukraine war, resources that we should use to protect our own border instead of somebody else's border halfway around the world. But Jack, third and perhaps most importantly, this is how we deter China from going after Taiwan without going to war over Taiwan. Because China's bet is that they can go for Taiwan when Russia's actually in their camp. But if Russia's not, they're gonna have to think twice before making that move. And that's not a donor class approved talking point. But you know what? This is going to be, I think that is the choice. We're going to see it on the debate stage. Super PAC puppets versus somebody who actually speaks independently. It's going to be up to the voters of this country to decide. One side gets to buy a lot more TV ads than the other, but I have the advantage of being unconstrained and speaking truth. And I do think that's what's driving that's our rise in the polls, thanks to you know conversations with Tucker, the turning point event and otherwise. That's what we're going to rely on in order to succeed here.